You know how groups got started back in the 50s, huh? Right now we're going to simulate for you putting together a rock and roll band right before your eyes. The first member you'd need in the rock and roll band in those days was a man with a little musical education behind him. Two guitar lessons down at Freddy's Music Store. Little Eddie off to the left here. Can you dig him, huh? You ready, Eddie? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that was real boss, Eddie, real boss. Now, the next guy in the group would have to be the guy with the low voice, because back in those days, you have to have a guy doing all the whoop, whoop, and burp, 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 and all that shit. See, so look for the oldest guy in the group. You could always tell he was the oldest because he had three hairs in his chest. Yeah, really. Faggot. Danny's our low man. Ready, Eddie? Ready, Rocky? Go! <laughs> Yeah, that was tough, real tough. Now, the next guy in the group was the most important member of the whole group. You know what I mean? No, it ain't No, it's not Shirley Temple up there. The most important member was the lead singer. Now, you can always tell the lead singer because he stood about six foot two. Had his hair combed down, a shoe shine, his suit pressed, and had 50 cents in his back pocket. And was fine, fine, super fine. Was the best looking in the whole group. Yeah. Had the highest voice. You ready, Chico? We're gonna do it. guy in the group was the guy that really couldn't sing too well, you know, his voice never really happened. But he hung around with everybody, hung around with the gang, and they kept him around because he could really rap. He was a rapper. It was back in the 50s. He always needed a guy to explain what everybody was singing about. So he did all the talking on the records. He would say... All the romantic things. All the lovely things. All the things the ladies wanted to hear. All the bullshit. Uh, 
And this guy talked so much bullshit, he had to carry toilet paper around with him. You know what I mean? And he would sound something like this. Could I have a little background harmony, please? Or faggots. <laughs> now you could always tell this guy because he had a very he had a very distinctive walk. He would look something like this. Darling, all the stars are in the skies. They're in your eyes, yeah. Radio Station Caraway right here in the stadium. Don't forget about Big Sock Hop coming up and don't forget about the Big Dance Contest a little later on. Watch us stick around, hang around. We'll be right back.